Hi, today we're going to do a thought experiment which explains the basis of the concept of voltage. It's called chocolate balls. Now, the first thing is that you as the student are going to be a coulomb of charge. So repeat after me, I am a coulomb of charge. Well done. Now the next idea we need is that one sweet, one sweet equals one joule of energy. One sweet equals one joule of energy. Now, here comes the central bit. One sweet per student. One sweet per student equals one volt of voltage. So if you have two sweets per student, you have two volts. If you have ten sweets per student, you have ten volts. Finally, one student per second, one student passing per second is one amp of current. So let's go through this again. One student is one coulomb of charge. I am a coulomb of charge. One sweet represents one joule of energy. One sweet per student, or one joule per coulomb, is one volt of voltage. One sweet per student, one joule per coulomb, is one volt of voltage. Finally, one student passing every second is one amp of current. Now, what can we do with this? Suppose we have this situation. How many volts have we got here? Three volts. Right, now suppose we have three amps. So we've got three students passing every second, and they've each got three volts. Let's just show that. So, Three students are passing every second. We have a current of three amps, three coulombs passing every second. So we have a current of three amps. And they've each got three joules of energy, three volts. What is the power? How many sweets, how many joules of energy are passing every second? The answer is very simple. It's power sweets per second equals voltage times current. So it's 3 volts times 3 amps equals 9 watts which is joules per second. Hmm. There we go.